Hello everyone and welcome back to another Tram Sim console tutorial. I didn't think I actually would do another one, but I thought, well, I struggled with it, so I thought, if I'm struggling with it, some people in the community are probably going to struggle with it as well. And this is a cold start in the Flexity Tram. Now you've probably noticed the lights are on. They are automatic, they, they've got like light sensors, so they just come on when it's dark, and well, it's not particularly light in here, is it? So they've they've come on. Uh, but yeah, we're going we're gonna to get in. Uh, which at first I was like, hang on, how do we actually get in? But there's a little T-key slot here. So if you put your cursor on there, hold A, or X, depends what you're on, PlayStation, Xbox. Pop in here. And quickly get that door shut by pressing the little red button there at the end. Which is tour one, door one. We get this, uh, get that shut. There we go. Right, and then the next thing we want to do, I'm hoping I am going to do it in the right order is you want to set, get the master key in, so hold hold that in, there we go, and we're going to set that to position 1, so like that, just one click, and you'll see all the screens are starting to come on, so we'll let them come on, and whilst we're doing that, we're going to pick a timetable, which is quite important if you do want to, well, get out and go somewhere, so route number 1, let's see what we've got, is there one that starts in the depot, which the ones that start in the depot will come under as Liebgasse, because that's the first stop outside the depot. There you go, 10 pass, Liebgasse. So we're going to enter that. And the time at the moment, once it loads up, you can see the screen's coming on. Let's press triangle or Y to look in and have a look at that. So that is activating. And you can see this little, there's a little flashing red thing there. Oh, it's gone now, but you'll hear a little clank. You might have just about heard the clank. But yeah, where the cursor is, I don't know how well you can see it. The little white dot. When you first set that into position one it will be flashing and then you hear a little clank and then it stops flashing so that's 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 sort of the first step done and then the next step is to set that to position two so you've got to click it again so i've clicked it again and then we want to come up to here and we want to press it twice and set it into the va mode so one two and you can use the d-pad for this as well you can see if we go back to here it says operating mode VA um, so that's that's like two steps done the next step is to raise the pantograph so you've got a little button here again you can do this on the sort of drop menu here you can come to pantograph which is this way and you can raise it that way but we're going to click the button so the pantograph goes up there and as we are in the depot you don't yes you don't have to do it but as we are in the depot, we're also going to put down our cruise control speed because, you know, you want to be going 50, 60 out of here. So we're going to set that down to 30. You'll see a little red line on the speedometer moving. I don't know, as I said, I don't know how well you can see that on the on the video. So we're going to get that to 30. So one, one more, one more, 30. There. That's sort of setting up the tram. That's getting it all powered up. So now, you know, if we wanted to move, we probably would be able to, but we're not just yet. Now we're going to come over to the IBIS system. Think of this as the PIS. So we're going to get all the TMS. Well, TMS and then PIS inside. So we're going to interact, which you can just press triangle or Y. Come into here and you're like, oh, it's all flashing. It says inactive. What's going on? You've literally got to click any button on there. Done. And the line which most people will probably be starting on is line 1. So we're going to get line 1 in. Which you can always see it says line one on there, but we're going to type the number in for it. So this is, I've got to try and remember this, one, zero, one, four, two. And you can see line one's now showed up on there. Good. That's that's a good step. Uh, oh, and that's also how it happened as well. So that basically means start. So we're going to press enter. There we go. Um, yeah, so that bit just back there, it's basically saying, are you ready to start? Which we are, we are ready to start. Uh, we're going to click go to zeal. Let's look at the little red, there's a little red dot on there, look at that. So we're going to go to zeal, which is basically your destination. So uh, this one will be going up to St Stefan uh, Fedinga Platz, and it will be starting at Lieb Garza. So there's actually a couple of different ones on there, so you've sort of got to flick through. So we're going to press enter. Uh, and that is the right one. You can see Liebgar, so that is our first stop. If you look on here, it says Liebgar, so 10 past, which is now, so we are a little bit late. 
and we get to Stefan Fedinka Platz 18 par. So that's all set up, ready to go. You can see plus zero. What's the plus? This number just above there, you see it says plus zero. That means, well, at the moment, we're sort of on time. If it was minus one, it means you're a minute early, minus two, two minutes early, minus 2.5, two and a half minutes early. If it's plus, a so plus one, plus one and a half, it means you're a minute late. Like that, that's, we're now 30 seconds late to, you know, get in there. So that's that all set up. So that's quite straightforward. And the next thing you need to do is make sure the doors are locked, which they are. So just press square or X. Uh, do the bell. Let everyone know you're going. Set that to forward. And off you go. It's as simple as that. And a little, as we are in the depot starting, but also give you a slight little look at what you need to do here. Because there's manual points in the Vienna depot. So if you're here to find out how the flexity gets set up, that's it. It's easy as that. So we're quickly going to pop out and I'll quickly show you what to sort of how to use this, which is the the sort of points changer. So you need to as the uh, it's all manual here, so you need to change it. So at the moment that one actually is set the correct way, but I know this one here isn't. So if we come out to here, you can actually change this. So you can sort of see the rail at the moment it wants us to go straight on, but we don't want that as we're but then we probably have an accident. So we put that in there, and then changes it to that. Done. That's it. And now we'd be able to drive out and get on our merrily way. And I think there also is another point around the corner there. But hopefully that has helped a few of you out. Um, I thought I'd put it together as I was struggling myself with it. And I was thinking, how on earth do I do this? And after quite a few runs, I've figured it out. Um, so, yeah. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hopefully it has helped out. Um, and, yeah, just enjoy Triamsin. And it's fun having the start mode on as well. It gives you a bit more to do instead of it just all being ready ready to go um but yeah thanks all for watching hopefully it has helped out leave a like if it has you don't have to but always always helpful and i hopefully will see you in the next one see you all and take care bye guys